And for more on the history and legacy of the provisional government of Republic of Korea, Park ji reports. Korea's provisional government was established in 1919 in Shanghai as a government in exile, nine years after Japan's forceful annexation of Korea in 1910. Its establishment followed a massive nationwide independence movement against Japanese rule the same year. Prior to 1919, seven provisional governments had been formed in various regions, including Seoul, the Chinese city of Jilin, and Vladivostok in Russia, but they decided to unite as one provisional government in Shanghai to rightfully represent Korea and facilitate the creation of independence movements. But due to the constant threat of discovery, the provisional government had to keep changing locations. During the years it was active, the exiled government fought hard to achieve liberation for Korea, both on the diplomatic front and by staging attacks on the occupying Japanese. But as diplomatic appeals to the international community largely failed, internal factions emerged. For years, Korea's provisional government was a turbulent mix of liberals, socialists and nationalists with opposing views on which approach to take. For example, Lee Seung-man, the provisional government's first president and the man who later became South Korea's first president in 1948, emphasized diplomacy targeting Western powers. On the other hand, nationalist Kim Gu, the final president of the provisional government, believed the country could only be taken back through military force. Their opposing views continued even after Korea's liberation. After the unconditional surrender of Japan and Korea's liberation in 1945, due to a deepening Cold War politics, the United States and the Soviet Union started to temporarily administer Korea by dividing the nation in two, and the provisional government was ignored. Both Lee and Kim were strongly opposed to a foreign trusteeship over Korea. But he hoped to have a separate government in the South to avoid the influence of communism. Kim Gu pushed hard for a unified government until his assassination in 1949. Although the role of the provisional government was ignored after Korea's liberation, its legacy remains. It was the provisional government that first proclaimed Korea to be a democratic republic, ending Korea's traditional monarchy system that had ruled the country for thousands of years. The preamble of Korea's constitution also states that it succeeds the cause of the provisional government born of the March 1st independence movement of 1919. In another demonstration of the legacy left by the government in exile, South Korea's full name in Korean, Tehan Minguk, and its national anthem, Egukka, were first officially adopted by the provisional government. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.